Absolutely. A lot of cold air with this system aloft. And that creates instability, and that's exactly what we're seeing tonight. CJ and Beth, let me show you this live cam out of Morro Bay. We have a potentially dangerous situation setting up across western parts of San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. This cam, courtesy of OffshoreTheater.com. And this cell is moving very quickly towards the coastline, expected to slam into Morro Bay right around 630 and Point Arguello, which is that western point. Point Conception's the south one at 645. It's a big line of storms as it moves ashore. If it is producing hail and strong winds like it looks like it's going to, that could easily be translated into a severe thunderstorm warning. For the time being, again, it's just a special marine warning, and we can see that cell right here, the heavy rain and thunderstorms with lightning now moving onshore out towards San Simeon. Hearst Castle, Cambria, expected to hit Mora Bay within the next 10 minutes. We can now see that cell getting closer and closer to western parts of Santa Barbara County. So watch out in Santa Maria, Vandenberg, Lompoc, and Orcutt as we head towards 7 o'clock. Showers and thunderstorms. In your forecast, and then interesting to note here across the spine of the San Ynez Mountains, this one cell moving very slowly from west to east. Some very high cloud tops here, the potential for some lightning out there in the San Ynez Mountains over the next half hour, and then more on the way later tonight. So that line of storms marching in from the eastern Pacific, it'll taper off to scattered activity tomorrow, but over the next 24 to 48 hours, still additional amounts ranging between a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch, and you might ask why so very well, we are going to see some hit or miss showers with this system. So some spots might see those heavy downpours. Others might just experience pockets of light to moderate rainfall. Snow levels also dropping down to near 3,000 feet. So it's a very cold system, and most of it falls tonight, I think. But still tomorrow, as that cold air moves on shore, and low pressure does as well, some pop-up showers and storms continuing in that forecast. Otherwise, we'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds out there for your day on Wednesday. Temperature is still well below average for this time of the year. Only looking at high 50s by the coast in San Luis Obispo County. Some lower 60s as you head towards Slow and Paso Robles tomorrow. 65 in Santa Paula. It'll be 64 tomorrow in Camarillo and 64 as well for the city of Oxnard. Santa Barbara seven-day forecast. Thunderstorms tonight into tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms. Cool and dry beyond that. And then look at this weekend warm-up. 70s by Saturday, even some 80s in your forecast as we head towards next week. So a big turnaround expected over the next seven days. Showers, thunderstorms in Lompoc for the next 24 hours. Cool out there Thursday. And then another system is expected to skirt northern parts of the viewing area on Friday. I think we're going to be really on the tail end of that one. So maybe... Slight chance at a shower, Santa Maria area as well, but that's going to be about it. Beyond that, temperatures are really looking to warm up. San Ynez Valley, watch out tonight for some showers, heavy downpours, and some thunderstorms. Could see some small hail. That threat continues tomorrow, and then Thursday into Friday, uh, we start to see some slightly better weather. And again tonight, be careful out there. If you hear that thunder, get inside. And boaters, especially across that coastline I just showed you, should stay in safe harbor. Do not venture out. Tonight. Don't take chances. Yes. Not at all.